Well, if you're going to be going into the last leg of the pick six and place accumulator, well, all the very best. Hold on to your tickets. The eighth race is at 25 past four, a 65 handicap. Again for the girls, 1,200 meters. Matadora's Parade, horse number one for Patrick Lunn. Keegan DeMello, gate one. Oh, from, they'll have a smooth run in transit from gate one over the 1,200 meters. She won't know herself, this filly, because her last start, she won from gate 10. So she's a much kinder draw. Can she follow up? Without a doubt. Two, Rachel, running well, never too far off the action. She's like an ATM for Purple Kingdom Syndicate and Mrs. Janet Bardenhorst. Always does of her best, this uh, philanthropist filly. Sweet Spring, number three, improved last time on her stable debut. She finished four lengths off her Royal Majesty, and she can build on that some more. Horse number four is Top Honours, returning from a 110-day rest. Lightly raced, but shown quite a bit of uh, ability. Richard Ferry, an interesting jockey engagement. Eight Beckoning Beauty. I fancied this filly last time, and I tipped her as a horse to follow and as the value selection in the race. And she certainly uh, nearly pulled it off for us. She ran third to her Royal Majesty, beaten half a length. There was no doubt that uh, she was better than those last three runs before finishing third to her Royal Majesty. Caden Brewer's got some very good rides at the race meeting, and this is one of them. 11, Ginger's Path to Glory, came from the clouds last time to finish third to Matadora's Parade. Her overall form is good. She certainly come good, this filly, and uh, one for the shortlist. Her draw's obviously going to be a concern. 12, talking about draws being a concern, if uh, number 12, Kylie's Fate, was drawn 1 to 4 or 1 to 5, I would make her probably the banker in the race and the banker on the card, Kylie's Fate. She's a master of my fate filly for Michael Roberts. She's really doing well. She won her maiden beating hello tomorrow and she's followed up with two good runs. Watch out for her. She's probably the one that sets the standard and the one that they all have to beat. That's race eight. I'm almost certain we're going to get treated to some thrilling finishes uh, because these lowly rated handicaps can provide that for us most times. But whatever happens, get your bets on timelessly. Punt well. We wish you all the very best. And we'll see you, as always, from the number one box at Hollywood Bets Gravel.